is the Starship idea of Elon Musk. His greatest aim is to establish a city on Mars using starships. He came up with another purpose for the spacecraft while researching that plan. He also found out that it can be used to transport goods and cargo into space. Welcome to another video of Cosmos Observer, the only destination for your space curiosities. Here, we are going to talk about how Elon Musk's insane new Starship 2.0 shocks the entire space industry. SpaceX is a forward-thinking company. It has been progressing from one major milestone to the next under Elon Musk's leadership. The business now operates the most powerful rocket, the Falcon Heavy, while also owning the Falcon 9, which is among the most active rockets in use. SpaceX often launches cargo into space for commercial enterprises such as itself, as well as government agencies such as the U.S. military. NASA counts SpaceX as a close launch partner, ferrying supplies and astronauts to the ISS. The functioning relationship is even set to go further, with SpaceX highlighting intensely in NASA's missions to the moon and then some. Claiming the most impressive rocket flying has not prevented Musk from dreaming significantly greater. SpaceX is right now fostering a rocket that will permit Musk to accomplish his greatest dreams. Musk has already accomplished a lot, but his most ambitious goal is to establish a colony on Mars and live there forever. That's no small task, considering the proposed plans for a million individuals to be transported from Earth to Mars. It is not possible to send people directly to Mars, considering the harsh conditions there. That was the primary challenge SpaceX faced. So first, he decided to transport all the essential goods and supplies necessary for the survival of human life. Here arises the primary benefit of Starship 2.0. Many people have already seen the big rocket's potential while it is still under construction. It is hoped that NASA will utilize it to place American astronauts on the moon. It will be used by the Pentagon to transport military supplies around the world in minutes. Astronomers, satellite firms, and prospective space travelers are all excited about the possibility of dramatically lowering the cost of traveling to space. The Starship is expected to be nearly twice as powerful as the Saturn V and to have a diameter of 30 feet, which is larger than other orbiting vehicles. This will allow for the simultaneous movement of big volumes of material or several individuals. The Starship is launched into orbit atop a massive rocket booster known as Super Heavy. However, the two halves of the spacecraft split towards the edge of space as soon as they depart the Earth's atmosphere. The Super Heavy launcher that helped Starship get off the ground returns to land near its launch pad as Starship continues to orbit. The booster, however, will not land because a giant tower with mechanical arms, which Musk refers to as chopsticks, would capture the descending rocket and gently land it. The Starship will also land on its side in the Earth's atmosphere. The Starship will restart its engine shortly before landing to tilt itself vertically for a smooth landing, which will also be caught by the chopstick. The Starship has undergone numerous improvements even before its maiden orbital test flight. In a short presentation, he said that in the future, Starships could be built every three days. This would also enable the launch of 10 Starships three times every day. A regular launch schedule would be essential for maintaining a human colony on Mars, he said. Musk, who is optimistic that Starship will reach orbit this year, also showed off a new video demonstrating Starship's capabilities at the event. For example, SpaceX has been working on the Raptor rocket engine, which provides propulsion to the Starship. SpaceX is currently developing a version of these engines that provides more thrust, is easier to manufacture, and costs less. Musk stated a full design revamp is necessary for the engine that can genuinely make life multi-planetary for the new Raptor. He also announced that the new engine's name would not be Raptor. SpaceX has also stated that the number of Raptor engines on the Starship and Super Heavy rockets will be increased. This will raise the spacecraft's total payload capacity from around 100 tons to over 150 tons. The company takes a unique approach to rocket development which has allowed it to move quickly. It tests entire prototypes rather than individual components. Although numerous prototypes have gone up in flames, the mishaps have allowed SpaceX to learn and react swiftly. Even before Musk released the new larger version of the Starship, what's astounding is how many uses individuals outside of SpaceX have imagined for it and are already spending money studying. For SpaceX rockets, the U.S. military has its own ideas. The Air Force awarded SpaceX $102 million in January to research deploying the spacecraft as a cargo ship that can deliver materials to different regions on the planet in minutes or for point-to-point -point transportation. 
Starship may potentially launch into orbit and re-enter over a specific zone to deliver humanitarian aid or military cargo in a fraction of the time it takes regular military planes. The only things left to figure out are the legalities and logistics of such a proposition. Even before Musk showed the new Starship, the financial implications were mind-boggling. Despite its size and power, the rocket system is less expensive than the Falcon 9 owing to its reusable architecture. Musk has disclosed that Starship flights might cost as little as $2 million per launch, compared to the $62 million every Falcon 9 launch. Consider what the new, larger, and more powerful Starship 2.0 will be like. There's no getting around it, Starship 2.0 is massive. According to Musk, it's up to eight times bigger than the present version. According to him, version 2.0 will be 18 meters in diameter, double the current version's nine. The Starship's initial design was 12 meters in diameter before it was shrunk. Therefore, Musk isn't satisfied with the reduction and wants to go higher. One of the most important things regarding rockets is that their height and weight should be proportional. When they increased their weight automatically, they were forced to increase their height. So imagine that SpaceX increases the existing height to 120 meters. Starship 2.0 will be 240 meters tall. This will result in a nine-fold increase in volume. However, the new height is the same as New York's renowned Woolworth Building and three-quarters the height of Paris's Eiffel Tower. With this change in the calculation, currently it is assumed that it will be able to hold 1,000 tons of weight. We should note that earlier it was 300 tons only. So this massive change increased its productivity is huge. Of course, more Raptor engines will be required for Starship 2.0. Per launch, we may be looking at more than 100 engines. This is why SpaceX is aiming to make the Raptor and its successor cheaper and faster to manufacture, as they will soon require a large number of them. This leads us to the reason for Musk's desire for a more powerful version of an already strong rocket. It's easy. He requires a more powerful rocket to expedite his Mars plans and address certain logistical issues. The present Starship, for example, can transport approximately 100 people at a time. To reach his one million colonizer goal, he'd need to make around 10,000 voyages. He could transport between 800 and 1,000 passengers every trip with the 2.0, dramatically reducing the number of journeys required. Musk will also be able to transport stuff that cannot be dismantled with Starship 2.0. Heavy machinery like cranes and bulldozers, which are difficult to disassemble and reassemble, will be required to build a shelter on Mars. Other equipments which are needed for his plans may be transported from Earth initially. He also tweeted that we were about a couple of months away from the spacecraft's orbital preparation. It will ship the 10th Raptor engine soon. SpaceX is awaiting authorization from the Federal Aviation Authority to launch Starship into orbit. Over the last few years, the business has raised billions of dollars for both Starship and its satellite internet project, Starlink.